But now we turn our attention to two of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. This is the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo making their season debut against the 76ers. The Bucks got the win. The Sixers are now 0-2. But what did you think of your first glimpse of Giannis Antetokounmpo? The Greek freak, for me, is still the best overall player in the game. And even though they're playing without Chris Middleton, their size and height is still a major factor in how they're going to beat opponents on a nightly basis especially when Brooke Lopez is making plays like he was yesterday. And Bobby Portis is getting you a double-double. That now supplements what the Greek freak needs to do up front. Great defense by Drew Holiday, in particular late against James Harden playing without fouling. And that color area that you see the Milwaukee Bucks attacking is what Philadelphia fans want to see Joel Embiid attacking. And here's the difference that I now see in Philadelphia's offense that Doc Rivers and Sam Cassell and that staff is going to have to sort. When James Harden gets a two-year deal, not a four-year max deal, and gets in good shape and has a really good summer, he comes back to play like the old James Harden. He's put up 30 in both games, looking really good offensively. But you know the old James Harden, what he does is dominate the ball. He dominates the ball. And last year it was Harden deferring to Embiid and not being as efficient as a secondary option. This year, he's being aggressive, which I love, and not deferring to Embiid. So now Embiid has to move a little more, be a lot more active, be a, <clears throat> be a better roller, be be a rim runner early in the clock and get his spot in the offense so that now he can get himself going. That's the difference that I see. They're playing through Harden and he's excelling, not playing through Embiid where they hope that he would be in the paint. That's what the fans are booing about. They're booing because they had 88 points. That's what they're booing about. Their defense held the Bucks in theory to 90, yes. But that's what they're booing about, the lackluster offense. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.